Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is Trouble Productions coming back at you guys again today with another video. And as you can tell, I'm doing a different type of video today than what I usually would do. And I'm going to be uh, doing a video on set ideas for The Mandalorian, seeing as the Razor Crest is coming in soon and Season 2 is coming up on us in a couple of months now. Uh, there's some sets that uh, still haven't come out from Season 1 that we might want to see in the future. So uh, I'm going to be looking at some of them. I will also be talking about possible prices for these sets, how many minifigs it would come with, and uh, maybe I'll get into pieces for some of them, but uh, the pieces, you know, you don't really know that, so I'll try and stay away from that. So the first set from The Mandalorian that I think LEGO could and definitely will make this winter 2021 line is a Razor Crest poly bag. Now I definitely think they're going to make this because uh, The Mandalorian is so popular and this would be a great poly bag. I mean it would retail at $4.99 USD just like the most recent ones and it would have around 70 to 80 pieces and obviously include a, a Razor Crest micro scale version. Uh, just like this mock here, I'm sorry, I don't know who made this, but it would include something like this, maybe a bit more detail, maybe not, and it would be pretty cool, and I would definitely like this as a, po a micro scale poly bag, you know, type of build. I don't collect many poly bags to actually build, but uh, this one would be pretty cool, I would say. The next one or two sets on the list, you can look at it either way, is going to be a Razor Crest micro fighter and a sand crawler micro fighter now this could be a dual pack or they could just both be single micro fighters i'm not sure but if they were dual pack they would be 19.99 and range from 100 to 200 pieces and if they were just singles they'd probably be around 90 to 120 pieces and also retail for 9.99 usd all prices are in usd in this by the way if i don't say usd anyway they would include a Mandalorian minifig with the Razor Crest and of course a Jawa with the uh, Sandcrawler. This would be uh, an excellent micro fighter in my opinion. I think it's one we're actually definitely going to get in the winter 2021 wave and uh, it will sell well so that is definitely why Lego would make it. Another cool set that we could possibly see get made is a Quill and IG-11 brick heads. Now this would retail for $19.99 USD and be between 200 and 300 pieces. Uh, I don't really know if this would actually get made, uh, they're not like big named characters, big like really big known characters, but the hype around the Mandalorian is so much, there's so much hype around it right now, we could see it get made, maybe in the winter 2021 line, but I don't really think so. Now this next set idea is actually going to be based on a mock from Bagels For Real, which is going to be the first of two mocks that I'm going to be basing uh, my set ideas on in this video. Now this first one is going to be the Maldo Creus Speeder from uh, episode 1 of the Mandalorian obviously. I would think this would come with around 200 to 400 pieces and be a $29.99 USD price tag around the smaller you know, playset price tag. And we would obviously get three minifigs in this, the Mandalorian, the Mithral which you see him capture in episode 1 collecting his bounty on him, and a third minifig which could be one of the two fight scene characters in the bar or this uh, third one in the mock here uh, now this would be a sweet set i have to say definitely could be one i think we could get in the future and uh lego is not unknown to making speeders like this we've seen one with the solo movies so i think this one has a pretty good chance of being made the next set might be kind of hard to pull off but we've seen stuff like it before in star wars or lego star wars i should say and that is Quill's Moisture Farm. Uh, this would retail for $29.99 USD, be coming with 200 to 400 pieces, and we'd obviously get three minifigs with the smaller play set uh, type of set. We'd get Quill, obviously. Uh, this would be our first chance of getting him, which would be really awesome. I kind of hope we do get him in the future because I do like him as a character, even though, spoilers, he died. Uh, we'd get the Mandalorian and maybe Baby Yoda or IG-11. I'm not sure which one you'd want to include, but Baby Yoda would probably be the favorite over IG-11 there. And uh, let me say, this would be a pretty cool set to have. It'd kind of be like Obi-Wan's Hut, I think. And uh, I think this is one that would probably get more than the speeder that I just talked about. But uh, it'd be hard to pull off. Like I said, if you're looking at the pictures here, it is a complex type of farm. So... Uh, we'll see if Lego make something like this in the future. The next set idea is going to be the second mock from Bagels for Real, and it is going to be an Imperial Troop Transport. Now, we've actually seen this set before in Lego in 2015 with a Battle Pack version, which was obviously very scaled down, uh, for only four minifigs with that. But with this, it would give Lego a chance to give us an actual scale, uh, minifig scale size one, 
and it would be an awesome set from an awesome scene in the movie obviously from the scene when they were uh, held up in the bar so obviously i would think this would come with six minifigs roughly the mandalorian car dune two stormtroopers and two death troopers just like the mock uh probably 49.99 or 59.99 usd it's kind of hard to tell and it would come with i would say around 350 to 600 pieces it could be a very big set it could be a little bit of a smaller set but that would be my estimation for it coming with the imperial troop transport maybe some uh rocks and that and the minifix of course so this would make for an awesome set and one that i would really like to see the last and final set idea for this video is going to be the outland tie fighter that we mainly see at the end of mandalorian season one now just like the razor crest this would be one of the most unique and cool uh, spins on regular ships that we see in Lego for the longest amount of time. We haven't seen that much original stuff recently, and this would be a nice break from all the regular remakes. Uh, I would estimate this goes around $69.99 USD to $79.99 USD as a retail, with probably 500 to 700 pieces, or maybe even up to 800 pieces, and uh, It'd probably be called Moff Gideon's Outland TIE Fighter. The Outland TIE Fighter would come with four minifigs, Moff Gideon, a Stormtrooper, a Death Trooper, and maybe the Mandalorian or a, another Death Trooper. And this would just be an awesome set. I mean, the wings on this would be so cool. Uh, it'd be the most unique TIE Fighter I think we ever got. And it's just, it's an awesome TIE Fighter. Um, I would think it would only come with the TIE Fighter for the price and the amount of pieces that you get. But still, this would make for an awesome set, one of the most unique sets we've ever seen, and I think this is definitely one we could get in the future. It's probably the most likely behind the micro fighters and the poly bag on this list, but I really hope we do get this one, and I think it's uh, got a higher chance now with that new uh, Squadrons game coming out from EA. Having this alongside that, people are going to be wanting to buy TIE Fighters and X-Wings, and this would good sale point anyway everyone that concludes my video so i hope you all enjoyed and like i always say if you did enjoy make sure to hit that like button and subscribing to the channel always helps so if you can do that that'd be even better um and let me know what your set ideas for the mandalorian are down in the comments below but other than that i'll catch you guys in the next one